Good afternoon, eye care friends. It's Jen Trachtenberg, and I wanted to share with you some thoughts that I have as it relates to doing virtual interviewing. It may be that right now your staff is actually evaluating if they're able to come back into the office as you think about the reopening process. Perhaps you're thinking about whether or not you need to add to the team or there may be some holes that now exist because of change of responsibilities. We've actually found over the last two years that virtual interviewing is a gift unto itself and really gives us the opportunity to connect with tremendous talent all over the nation. So with that in mind, I wanted to share a few quick thoughts of what has worked for us and maybe help you avoid some of the rookie mistakes we made when we first got started. So number one, you really want to establish the right technology so that you have a comfortable situation. In some cases, if you're doing it one-on-one, -on -one, FaceTime may be the perfect tool. There also are options out there like Zoom and Microsoft Teams that work really well for any kind of virtual meetup. We found that being able to test out the tool in advance really makes for a much more comfortable circumstance and allows the candidate to start off on the right foot, which always gives you a better outcome in terms of who that person really is. Another thing to think about is to make sure that the interview takes place somewhere where both parties have a dedicated Wi-Fi. It may be the candidate's intention to sneak into their car and do it remotely, but it actually doesn't give the best performance, and you always want to make sure that individual has a chance to shine. Number three, I think it's important to consider having the right preparation, so that means a confirmation email, making sure that the individual will, will be ready at that time and that place to, to have the conversation, just like a proper interview in person. And then the last thing is to think about what type of questions you're going to ask. Best practice always says to ask open-ended behavioral-based questions, so you want to set up situations to figure out how that individual might perform or situations they've had in the past that are indicative of how they may behave in the future. Making sure that that person sees the opportunity, that they respect and can, can visualize what your culture would be, and that they bring to your office added in value and different practices and, and experiences they've had in the past will be a fantastic way to welcome somebody new to your organization. I hope that helps, and if I could ever be of assistance, please don't hesitate to reach out. Thanks.